when Pamela Wynn was released from prison in 2013, after serving time for bank fraud, she found herself mourning the loss of time, time for herself, time to build on her career and, above all, time with her family. You can always make money back, she has said, but you can't get your time back. With this in mind, Wynne didn't waste the time she had in front of her, she founded Restore Her, an advocacy and re-entry non-profit organization working on behalf of incarcerated women, and particularly those who might be pregnant during their confinement. Wynne had been six weeks pregnant when she began her sentence in 2009, but she was shackled, fell, and later miscarried. She's fighting to ensure this doesn't happen to anyone else, and has successfully pushed for anti-shackling legislation in 15 states. Today, Wynne is also one of 50 listees on the 50 over 50 impact list. Produced in partnership with Mika Brezinski's Know Your Value initiative, this collection of women over the age of 50 changing the world through politics, education, law and social entrepreneurship marks an expansion of the 50 over 50 list launched in June. Because the response to this first list was so overwhelmingly positive, and because we'd received so many impressive nominations filled with stories we wanted to share with the world, this impact-focused list marks the first of three subject-focused 50 over 50 lists being released this summer. The 50 over 50 impact was determined using the scores and insight provided to us from our three rock star judges, Grameen CEO Andrea Young, fashion icon Diane von Fersenberg, and Act One founder and one of America's richest self-made women, Janice Bryant Howroyd. Conversations among Forbes editors helped refine the list, weighing each story, scale of achievement and sector of work, the result? Every person on this list has a pay-it-forward mindset and is working to solve some of society's biggest issues, including healthcare access for all, food security, rights for the differently abled, and much more. Not every one of the 50 women on the list intended to work in social impact. May Lee had been a broadcast journalist for most of her career, and in 2020 founded the Lotus Media House to focus on telling stories about the Asian and Asian American experience. But soon thereafter, Covid hit, and anti-Asian hate crimes began to rise. Lee pivoted the focus of her content, speaking out against xenophobia and racism. This wasn't planned. This wasn't predicted. But sometimes one is called to do something beyond one's imagination, she says. That's why I now call myself an accidental activist, a label I wear with honor. Other listies, like Sharon Levine, were born into worlds of activism but found their own voice later in life, the daughter of civil rights activists, Levine spent her career as a special education teacher. But in 2018, at the age of 66, Levine began a campaign to prevent the construction of a 